Hello everyone, I'm Andy Leo from NHL Draft Central. Today we'll take a look at my top 10 list for the most underrated 2018 NHL Draft eligible prospect. Before watching the video, let me know in the comments which prospect you think are the most underrated. At number 10, Vitaly Kravtsov. Kravtsov is a 6 foot 2 Russian right wing who played the season with Tractor in the KHL, something you don't see often. Playing in the best league not named the NHL normally brings a lot of attention, but before the KHL playoff, not many people talk about him. He's currently ranked 16 by myself, but 14 by HockeyProspect.com, 35th by Future Consideration, 39th by Bob McKenzie, and wasn't even ranked by ESS Hockey and McCain's Hockey. Kravtsov put up 7 points in 35 games in the KHL this season. That's a point 20 points per game. For comparison, Vladimir Tarasenko put up 0.57 points per game in his draft year, while Yevgeny Kuznetsov put up 0.23 points per game. So his regular season production was excellent, but it's in the playoff that Kravtsov draft stock really skyrocketed. He put up 11 points in 16 games for a 0.68 points per game. That's the best playoff production for any U19 player ever. Kravtsov has a good shot and plays a good two-way game. He's certainly underrated. At number 9, Niklas Norgren. He's a 5'9 right winger playing for HIFK in the Junior A SM Liga. Norgren is ranked 62nd by future consideration, but isn't listed by ESS Hockey, HockeyProspect.com, McKenzie Hockey, Bob McKenzie, and Craig Button. I ranked him 66th last month, but is now at the 54th spot. Norgren had 13 goals and 42 points in 28 SM Liga games for a 1.5 points per game. For comparison, Sebastian Ayo at a 1.34 points per game and Mikko Ratanen at a 1.06 points per game in their U18 season. Norgren is just a super energetic player. He got amazing passes and skills. He can do everything offensively. His size is most likely the reason why he isn't ranked higher on many lists. At number 8, Philip Allender. He's a 6'2 Swedish right wing playing for Timra in the Elsvenskan. Allender is ranked 25th by myself, but 23rd by Craig Button, 36th by Future Consideration, 49th by Bob McKenzie, and isn't ranked by ESS Hockey, HockeyProspect.com, and McKenzie Hockey. Allender is also one of the youngest players, being born in mid June. He had a production of 9 goals and 20 points in 40 Allsvenskan games and has a better point per game ratio than Olofsson with 0.49 points per game. Allender has a really good puck control and I would even say he's one of the best prospects when talking about this category. He has also a great speed and skill. I never understood why he isn't ranked higher. At number 7, Cole Funstad. He's a 5'10", Canadian center playing for Prince Albert in the WHL. Fanstat is not ranked by anybody except future consideration at 49th and myself at the 50th spot. He posts 73 points in 72 games. He's one hell of a passer and is very smart in control of the puck. He's got an amazing vision. Great on the power play too. Maybe his size makes him drop, but I don't really see it as a problem. At number 6, David Gustafsson is a 6'1 Swedish center playing for HV71 in the CHL. He had 12 points in 45 games in the CHL this year. For comparison, Isaac Lundström had 15 points in 42 games. Gustafsson is ranked 35th by Button, 59th by McKenzie. 67 by future consideration, but isn't ranked by ESS Hockey, HockeyProspect.com, and McKenzie Hockey. I personally got him at 39. Gustafsson is a physically mature and reliable defensive player. 
His offensive skill improved throughout the year, but is still not the most talented player. Great shot, great passing abilities, but not flashy. He was also one of the final cut with Olofsson at the World Junior Championship. At number 5th, Jonathan Berggren. He's a 5'11 Swedish center playing for Skelleftea in the Super Elite. Berggren is ranked 32nd by Craig Button, 54th by Bob McKenzie, and 33rd by myself, but isn't ranked by ESS Hockey, HockeyProspect.com, Future Consideration, and Mickens Hockey. He had 57 points in 38 games for 1.5 points per game. That's the fourth best season by any U18 player in the Sweden history. For comparison, likely first rounder Dominic Buck had 1.17 points per game this year and 2017 7th pick Lias Anderson had 1.59 points per game in his U18 season. He is one of the youngest prospects being born in July. Berggren is one of the most energetic players I've seen in years. He's always moving. He goes hard to the net even though he isn't the biggest guy. He always looks to steal the puck from his opponent and has good speed. That's why after another two games watched from him this week, he finally entered my top 31. At number 4, Nicola Bodin. He's a 5'11 Canadian left-handed defenseman playing for Drummondville in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. Bodin is ranked 25th by Craig Button, 54th by Future Consideration and 70 by Bob McKenzie, but isn't ranked by ESS Hockey, HockeyProspect.com and McKenzie Hockey. I currently have him at 40. Baudin has 80 points in 76 Quebec Major Junior Hockey League games, including the playoff, for 1.05 points per game. For comparison, Noah Dobson had 0.95 points per game this year, while Ryan Merkley had 1.05 points per game. The main reason he isn't ranked higher is his size and defensive game. Baudin is an offensive defenseman with an amazing vision. He has great speed and excellent passing. His shot is precise. His first pass is good, but his overall defensive game needs work like many puck-moving defensemen. Still, his offensive abilities are way too underrated. At number 3, Nils Lundqvist. He's a 5'11 Swedish right-handed defenseman playing for Lou Lea in the CHL and the Super Elite. Lundqvist is ranked 19 by HockeyProspect.com, 27 by McKenzie Hockey, but isn't ranked by Bob McKenzie, Craig Button, ESS Hockey and Future Consideration. Lundqvist had 2 goals and 5 points in 28 CHL games for 0.18 points per game and post 3 goals and 19 points in 30 Super Elite games for 0.59 points per game. For comparison, Bukwis had only 0.07 points per game in the CHL and 1.04 points per game in the Super Elite. Lundqvist is really similar to Ryan Merkley. He is a very skilled puck-moving defenseman with incredible vision and passing. His best asset is his hockey IQ. He also has a very precise wrist shot, but not the most powerful. He takes a bit to risk and need to physically mature, but is also one of the youngest players of the draft. If he was born three weeks after, he would have been eligible for the 2019 NHL draft. So he has another season to improve his defensive game, but some say he is already a better 2 way D than Boquiz. If Merkley can be ranked 10 to 20 on many lists, Lundvist should be close to him. At number 2, Ruslan Iskakov. is a 5'7 Russian right wing playing for Moskva in the MHL. Iskakov is ranked 84th by Future Consideration and 56th by myself, but isn't ranked by Bob McKenzie, Craig Button, ESS Hockey, HockeyProspect.com and McKenzie Hockey. Iskakov has 30 points in 33 games for a 0.91 points per game. For comparison, Grigory Denisenko has a 0.71 points per game this year and German Rupsov posts a 0.93 points per game in his draft year. 
is also, like many on the list, just a few weeks away from being eligible on the 2019 NHL draft. He has incredible hands and passing. He skates really well and has great agility. He has a good shot, but he likes to distribute the puck rather than do everything by himself. His really small frame at 5'7 scares a lot of scouts. But I see so much potential in him. Before revealing the number one prospect, here is the honorable mention. Nathan Dunkley, Kirill Marchenko, Ivan Morozov, and Quinn Hughes. Finally, at the number one spot, the most underrated prospect of the 2019 NHL draft, in my opinion, is Rasmus Dahlin. The most underrated prospect of the 2000 NHL draft, Bulat Shafigulin. is a 6 foot 1 Russian left winger who is playing for Reactor in the MHL. Shafigulin is ranked by nobody except me at 53rd. He isn't even ranked by the Central Scouting. Shafigulin had an amazing season, posting 20 goals and 36 points in 22 games in the MHL. That's a 1.64 points per game. For comparison, projected top 20 pick Grigory Donisenko at 0.71 points per game in the MHL. Shafigulin has more than doubled that projection. Let's look at the best player who came from the MHL, Nikita Kucherov. In his draft year, he posted a 1.41 points per game, so Bolat Shafigulin is even beating him. Shafigulin even played 17 games in the KHL and posted 2 assists. Kucherov had 2 assists in 9 KHL games in his draft year. Even in the playoff, he continued to produce with 15 points in 9 games. So why literally no one is talking about him even after a better draft year than Nikita Kucherov? First, he's playing in a lesser known league that is the MHL. Sheffield Glenn didn't play at any international tournament and it's affecting his ranking. Even myself didn't saw him play before February. I discovered him because of Dalabound draft rankings. On the ice, Sheffield best strength is his precise and powerful shot. He just knows how to score. He got decent speed and can accelerate quickly. He can protect the puck but need to mature physically. Very good positioning but average vision and hockey IQ. His lack of exposure makes him literally unknown by most of scouts. He's by far the most underrated prospect of the 2018 NHL draft. Thanks everyone that listened to the end. I'm working on two videos at the same time, a Bouchard vs. Dobson video and a Katschuk vs. Wallstrom video. It would be awesome if you could vote in the poll above on which video you would want to see next. If you want to see my book with versus Yule's video, click here. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And I will see you for the next one.